Hi everyone, I'm Dave Harry, and we're going to be electrifying an acoustic drum set using Ableton Live and some piezo pickups that you can get for super cheap. I wanted to do this in order to trigger samples while playing live, but also because I live in an apartment and I can't be super loud, and I wanted to be able to record my performances of myself actually playing a physical instrument. Let's check it out. To set this up, we'll be using a group of tracks. One is a MIDI track, I've labeled this one drum, and the other is audio, I've labeled this one audio in. On this track, I have an EQ8 set up just to tame the incoming audio frequencies before they trigger this envelope follower, which is a free device that's included in the Max for Live Essentials. On the MIDI track, we have a Simpler, which is loaded up with our sample, and this other Max for Live device, which is called Trigger by Kelvin Lands. And this will allow us to trigger our sample inside the Simpler by using this Map Me button, Boom, just like that, which will be mapped to our envelope follower, which will be following the incoming audio signal. So let's check out this audio routing a little bit. We're going to have the audio in set to monitor in, just like this. That way the incoming signal will trigger our envelope follower which will then trigger the sample inside our MIDI track. We can leave the track activator off because we don't actually need to hear this audio. Now to fill out the rest of our drum set, all we have to do is duplicate this group. We can go back and rename them to each different drum or symbol that we're going to be setting up. Got the hi-hat, got the snare, do some color coding. It can be very organized. We'll have the kick over here. And there we go. Now we have to go in and make sure that the routing is set up for each individual mic. So over here we'll go and switch this to the second channel. Can keep it in mono. And then we'll go over here. Same thing. Set this up to the third contact microphone. Now we can go to our browser and find some new samples and just drag and drop them into our simpler devices so that we have each one of the drums for our kit. Today I'm using my favorite Travis Barker sample pack from Splice. To set up a drum trigger, we're going to be using a piezo pickup, handy pink guitar cable, and a little bit of tape just to hold it in place. I'm going to put the cable into the pickup, and then tape it onto the drum. I'm taping it in a place where I'm not really going to hit it as much. It's going to be out of the playing zone. I'm using these handy drum and cymbal mutes so that I don't have to put the tape on the drum, plus it's quiet, and it's easy to take on and off whenever you need to. And I'm going to repeat the process for the kick and the hi-hat. Now we can plug the microphones into our audio interface. Ableton Live 11 was just announced, and there's some really cool new features, including this tempo follow option, and this could be a really cool way to use this microphone setup. I found a set of five contact microphones online for less than $15, and there are several free Max for Live devices, or you can even design your own. So this is a really cheap and easy way to bridge the gap between digital and acoustic instruments. Right now, Ableton has an awesome sale running, so you can get live at a great discount before they upgrade to the new version, Ableton Live 11, so make sure you jump on that. 
If you have any questions or you enjoyed this video, feel free to comment and subscribe if you want to stay tuned for more tips and tricks. Thanks.